everybody, alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. The opening bell of this scheduled 12 rounder here. A much anticipated fight. Round one underway. Teddy, obviously we have a matchup that the fans love, power puncher versus power puncher, but if you're one of the two trainers, what are you thinking? Well, I'm thinking about defense. If I can be a little bit better on defense, my power's not going away. I'm still going to be okay in that area. George Foreman's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Solid straight right hand. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Halfway through this round here. Able to land the jab. Scored well with that right hand to the body. Big block by Big My George. Kid, focus. Foreman's the victim of a powerful hook. Turns over that hook and he does damage upstairs. And now they're trading blows. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. What a bulldozing uppercut by George Foreman. Very clever move there. A little defense turns to offense. The counter punch by George Foreman. Back to the body. And that round is in the books, and that one should go into the record books. It's been all action all night, but that chapter in the book was something special. Oh, it was, Joe. You know, sometimes you go to a party, you don't know what to expect. You wind up getting guys that like to talk. They come right in, they introduce themselves. Well, here, you get guys that like to fight. Nice work with the uppercut. Butterbean's got a way of just getting away from that punch. Well-timed, well-placed uppercut there. Able to land another power shot early on here, Teddy. Does he have to worry about trying to keep up this pace? No, I don't think so. If he keeps at this pace, he's not going to be around That's to worry. Like to see. That's my man. Keep fighting. Solid uppercut. Butterbean's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. Crash is home with the uppercut. So he goes to the gut with a right hand. Keep working the Halfway through round number two. And he ties up on the inside. Cut right on the mark. Butterbean's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Plus shot lands after blocking away his opponent's efforts. Foreman's rocked by a huge hook to the head. George Foreman's movement held out there. He avoided that punch. Butterbean's knowledge of the game is showing through. Three ways to defend. One of them is to the block. He did it there well. George Foreman's proving that he's here to fight. Just look at the punch stats. Control this fight. I don't know. I don't. You know. You, you got to. This is a wipeout. Of winning this fight. But you keep doing what you're doing. And 
round number three is underway. Not able to land the headshot. A hammering hook by George Foreman. Just like that. Just like that. You see what happens when he commits to the uppercut. Look at that. Great work there. Foreman with a formidable hook. Foreman lands a formidable left. George Foreman's putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. That's a shocker to see George Foreman hurt like that. Hey, if I'm in the corner of Foreman right now, I'm screaming to him, get away, get out of range. Unable to score with the uppercut that time. A little something of his own. Blocks a shot, brings back the uppercut. George Foreman's probably thinking to himself that he found an early answer. The counterpunch doing damage here. And his opponent's thinking, what the heck am I doing? Am I shadow boxing? Because I'm not finding nothing, but... And just like Stalin, targeting that head and landing with a bomb. <laughs> Butterbean's trainer is thrilled with this. He gets up off the canvas. Now he wants to see how he'll react. Good work defensively by George Foreman. Plus, he landed that counterpunch. Yeah, and he forced him to punch. He made him, he drew it out of him, and then he timed him beautifully. Final 10 seconds. He digs in with an uppercut after blocking that shot away. And the round comes to an end. Get some more. Good? All right? I breathe from it. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught him. Tighten up the punches, all right? Tighten them up. Round number four underway, a chance to look at Teddy's scorecard. Good flush shot upstairs. Work the body. Goes up top with a right hand. Butterbean's trying to steady himself in this round after being knocked down in the previous round. Teddy, and bang, and away he goes. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. Not much action as he just ties up. Butterbean's left now getting into the mix. And now targeting his opponent with the overhand right. Halfway through round number four. Ford well with the hook. Big George Foreman with a big right hand. Blocks a shot and then lands an uppercut of his own. Super two punch combo by George Foreman. He took a shot, but he came back with a right hand of his own. Butterbean's got a little something coming back at him. A counterpunch score. You can tell he's just looking to survive. Butterbean's holding his opponent right now, just hugging him. Yeah, he's doing what he has to do. Look, they work on this in the gym, so we oh, just ate a big uppercut. He's in bad shape. A good block. He got rocked. He just right, got rocked, right. and he's still right. taking punches. The only way right now is to grab on yeah. a little bit. Right, Stop move, this flow. Move, move. Okay, keep moving. Breathe now. Breathe. You good? 
can recoup from that. Start of a new round, but will it be much the same? Butterbean's been down numerous times tonight, Teddy. Well, if there was a mercy rule like this. Oh, he gets hit by a left hand that he had no clue on. Well, he just went from hunted to hunter. And now he's going to track him down. Oh! Can he beat the count? I don't think so here, Teddy. Now I know where they got that saying, falling like a sack of potatoes. fight. George Foreman's opponent is floored. A knockout victory. Boy, was that impressive. Ladies and gentlemen, by way of knockouts, your That's what you want to see. A guy who can close the show and finish with style. He ends up a knockout victor tonight. And that's what his trainer wanted. His trainer was even telling him, step it up a little bit because he knew this was possible, and they got it. It was a good one indeed. And for Tenny Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time at the fights.